Welcome back, guys. So this is session number eight, microservices. So the last class we have seen about that config server, how to implement the config server. So we in the last class I have I have told you one issue which are facing. It is not reloading the data from that when you perform any changes in the GitHub. GitHub, it is not reloading the data, right? So inside the GitHub repository. And the config server okay inside the config server when we perform any changes in the main.yml file like that okay it will not fetching the data automatically like this just i removing hi we put it and commit the changes okay so in the services are running the config server are running and config client is running which are getting the data so it is hitting in the 404 port now hit it it's then reloading the data not we need to restart our client application then data it then data it's loading okay then it is data is loading okay then data is loading now let's refresh now here data is loaded so we need to resolve this issue so inside the um, client config we need to add one actuators what is that one dependency like actuators let me wait actuator is there actuator spring boot actuator we need to add next okay don't do anything just refresh and inside the controller we added one at the red refresh scope for each scope annotation added and inside the bioml okay it is added actuator is editing added actuator is added okay so go inside the controller uh -huh, uh -huh. inside the biomal file we need to expose all the point management dot and dot management dot actuator is there exposure management dot exposure let me see it is so be there exposure of the to do to do to do it management dot dynamic dot export user don't want this one and point web dot expose okay web dot and point and point and point dot web dot exposer exposer include okay include now i need to add a hash a star all and what i need to so now it's done now let's see if it is hitting or not let's first we need to see any changes is there no okay we need to modify something okay three ning comment the changes this is the agenda first we are implementing actuator for the load updated data from the config servers okay config server the data is getting what from the config server we are not getting the data so now let's it is refresh this right now it's getting the data not getting the data so we need to hit one post while we need to post while 
open the postman. Okay. Inside the postman, we need to hit actuator. Actuator dot actuator slash refresh. Okay. What is that? Actuator dot refresh. Actuator dot refresh. So now, which endpoint is running? Oh, I think 4040. Actuator. Actuator slash refresh. Right. Now it's not on perfectly post request. It's on post the data. Okay. HTTP actuators dot refresh is not resource not found the statics. But it should be because data is there now. Inside the data, we had it. Okay, we need to restart. Okay, I stop the server. Okay, do that. My been update. My been update the project. Post update. Okay, run that client. Server first. Now it's getting the data. First, I will uh, show you if the actuator is working or not. Okay. What's running? We need to. So, running and if you get some time, you need to connect with that. Okay, so now it's connected. Now run this config client. Run. Now it's uh, running four zero four port. Let me hit refresh this. Now we are getting learning hub. Now let's see actuator is working or not. Post this actuator is not working. Info. Let me check. So, can we can it? What is that? Uh, four zero four zero. No, not found why it's not found. So we added let me check first. Okay. I have implemented the same thing in my GitHub repository is there. Okay. The Microsoft demo. Let me check first the config server. Just YML I need to check, right? So R C main dot yml yeah endpoint exposure dot perfectly 
right? Okay, we need to add same thing in number uh, client application also. So first we need to add it. Okay. Server, we need to add actuators. The spring actuator is the, the spring actuators. Okay. Next. Finish. Inside this biomal file, we need to copy this and point. Okay. And do go inside the configuration file resources biomal file and management. Save this. Is there any enable kind of thing? Is there? Let me check. GitHub repo. I will private this. Okay. This is config server. Server is there inside the biomal file. Resources. Perfect in the other yeah, thing we have done it. Find find main resources. Sources is there. And the other thing we have done in this. No. We just refresh this all this thing is perfectly great. Good. <laughs> Convex server is enabled. And we added, so we need to create the actuator slash 303. 303. Let's see. Post it. Okay. A method not allowed. Something, something. HTTP local host actuator slash reference. Method not allowed. Authorization is the not but not allow why it's not allowed in it. <laughs> post is not supported. I think the phrase is the post no? So first we need to get enough. So let me get okay properties then who is great what is this okay so created okay. just we need to add it something here Remove this for the learning hub. Commit this. Commit. Okay. Now it's limited. Let me check it. So it's not just hitting a present point. Let's press this. Let me refresh. We are not getting a. We are not getting. A. We need to post, right? TTP post request. We need to what? Right now it's not working. We need to check inside the Google. Press, press actuator. Actuator. Let me check. Uh, actuator refresh. This is the HTTP post request, right? It is the post request. So we need uh, one new post post request. 
and our end point is config server so by ml 303 303 dot refresh 303 okay now hit not allowed but not allowed it is saying mvc Which dependency I think some dependent I have added some long dependency and like this boot server is good that is the stress to the but we need to remove the dependency see save it what the threat My when project okay update the project clear all that console run that again stop Now three zero three is running. So let me hit again. Okay, not getting the data. Something is missed. Missed, I think. So so that why it is not working properly. Let me check my GitHub previously repository. Here we get at this and application dot yml perfect. Application dot by ml expose dot by dot endpoint. Let to me by ml file. Not this one. This I need a, this property, right? Got spring dot cloud dot config. Not spring dot config. Is the cloud config is this okay? This is that what is that client inside the server we got dot cloud dot two point three. Enable config server is enabled. Server is enabled perfectly. Okay, next thing by Milton by the config client tab. Refresh done. This is not good. Okay, import client tab inside the client tab. We can go last one to notice my thing like this. By ML, what is the by ML file? And point dot web dot exposure dot optional import config server dot port. Good thing is it perfect. Let me check pom dot xml. Pink dot tool is pink test is pink actuators. Pink config and XP actuators. Web is there. Okay, and so the client web is there, and the client web is there inside the server. Let me server on the server the test so it does web is there. Close on the file. Chat. Server. Chat. Server. 
Perfectly save this stop on the servers, stop this. Yeah. Let me run this server. Okay. Perform the Maven update, I think. So that's why it's not everything is perfectly. Okay, now when update is done, run. Server is started three zero zero port. Your Mabin update. Force update. Clean that uh, refresh. Okay, run as Spring Boot app. And let me hit that URL. Data is updated. It is getting updated data. Now let's post this 303. Why? Oh, yeah. 40404. Not hitting this URL. Why not found? Twenty six micro service is there. Forty forty, what it was not okay. Let me hit forty forty. The Spring Web Servlet response is also not found the static response. Actuator less refresh. This actuator is not found in means this dependency is not defined. Name. Exclude in a loop. Let this man. Save this, include this, and uh, by my client is included. What is that? Include exposure dot exposure dot include star. This is the issue, guys. This is the issue. Include or exclude. Include. Include dot. Now, one more time. I need to stop this. I need to uh, update the Maven. Update the client application. I've been client update. Okay, run the server. Run the client application. Now I need to hit the URL. So we are getting the data. Okay. So we need to hit post. Let me hit post. Now it's getting the data. Perfectly. Now it's included that all its point actuators. So now I need to 
something here. Okay, so here thriller commit. Now, do you think it will refresh? No. First, you can hit your microservice and point microservices and point by using refresh actuator. This here you will get the data which data you change it. the config dot client version message you change it. this data you will get it now here you can just go to the browser and refresh this now we are getting the data so now these these things i want to tell you how to do this okay so any data you can change and just you need to first hit that this refresh actuator url then you can refresh your browser these things you can do but then you can get the data okay and file name or your application name should be same then that application is working so now next is next is automate that your uh, automate that uh, what is that automate automatically it will restart hitting that end point how we can do this we have the rest template so we schedule we create one end point one component one component by using rest client we start the rest client every five seconds it will hit automatically okay so now this is the implementation of like we created one fetch latest data from the uh, project to get okay we schedule this is the five second then five is that means it is five second the rest template we created one rest template and which data you are sending from here which data you are sending from your same data you can create it by using microservice created by using microservices microservices and then you can understand easily so let me right now we are hitting now so after that we are not able to we we, we will not hit it okay so here we created one starter project okay number eight is there auto reload auto auto reload load data okay maven project auto reload uh, next here we just run and dev if required dev let's say finish okay why because we had but we had we need one left template so inside this here we add one scheduler at the red enable enable scheduling right we enable the scheduling and create one project uh package yeah form dot schedule schedule okay inside this we create one class uh, class get update load latest data from get property file right just create it here we act as the component not a configuration act as a component okay inside the component we created one public void one by like reload load data every five seconds right so here we add the red schedule pass that um time of the star Start, 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 right? Okay, same thing is we have done here. Same thing here. Call is one I noticed scheduled date there. Okay, call is scheduled and call is scheduled. Inside this. Mm -hmm. now we created one rest template rest template rest 
template rest equals to new rest template by using rest template you can hit rest template we created an http header 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 equals to new http header which header you are passing and header dot header dot set header like header dot set which which we need to set here application json here header dot set content type header dot set content header dot set header dot headers dot headers dot set content type and content type uh, media type dot application json json okay i need and next is rest dot post for entity post for entity i think this method and here we need to pass the url here we need to pass that url what is that set entity as entity we required and as http okay. entity we required http entity entity like a string of entity equals to new entity entity only body is empty and uh, we call the header headers thus inside this endpoint just TTP this endpoint we paste it this endpoint this endpoint we need to control a c we need to add this endpoint and here we pass entity entity and next we need to pass the do, 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 string dot class string dot class dot get body right Now body field. and if you want to you can print the data s out sys out I think so sys out output data plus we need to get this it is reading a string a string data goes to data. Now it's perfectly. Now inside the term data server dot four equals to what is that four zero four five zero five. Okay. Now when we just run this, let me see it is working or not. Five zero five is perfectly. So, just we are uh, changing here, removing this pre learning hub and uh, commit this change. Take five seconds. It will refresh automatically. It will refresh or not? Let me see. It should be hit it now. It's inputting Kali. Data is coming in putty. Data Kali Kimara five second one. Okay, HTTP colon local host to zero.
पोस्ट फॉर एंटिटी राइट गेट बॉडी पोस्ट फॉर एंटिटी राइट वी गेट द डेटा अपडेटेड डेटा लेट मी रिफ्रेश अब मैंने एप्लीकेशन नोट आर वी नॉट स्टार्टेड द एप्लीकेशन रिफ्रेश दिस नाउ वी गेट इन द डेटा नाउ लेट्स चेंज दिस अगेन आई नीड टू चेंज हाय ओके कमेंट लेट्स चेंज द चेंज टेक 5 सेकंड टेक 5 सेकंड आफ्टर 5 सेकंड वी रिफ्रेश द Here you can see the data is refreshed or not. Here first we get the data. It will refresh automatically. It will refresh, refresh or to reload data. When we perform any changes, change data it will. Use. Now it will change the data. Message is changed. Now refresh this. Now how you feel? So now you can understand. I think you understood. I think is you got the clarity about this topic. So we completed config server and also I will share this repository. Otherwise, I will uh, public this repository. Uh, this I have practice. I have done this so much of practicals. Okay, but otherwise I will classroom notes and all these things I will uh, share with you. Okay, so now we completed this much of thing. So we will meet a uh, next session. There we will learn the cache is remaining. Cache is the pending part for our application. Cache is remaining, and cache is pending. And Kafka we will learn some other sessions. The separate topic the Kafka is the more configuration. Deep configuration is required for the Kafka. So we will take Kafka in the separate session. Config is completed and cache is remaining. So it will take two sessions. I think so. It will take two two sessions. It will be completed. Then microservice architecture total is complete. So thank you. We will meet our next session, guys. Thanks.